Yo, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. Y'all, I'm super excited because I want to go ahead and talk about Dr. Heavenly doing an interview on Extra TV. Now, first and foremost, somebody found this black king. I got to talk about Phaedra. I was with Phaedra a Somebody found this black king because he be asking the questions that we, the people at home, want to know. I want to follow him on Instagram. So, Dr. Heavenly went on to Extra TV and basically said that, you know, uh, Phaedra Parks used Mary to Medicine as a stepping stone to get back onto the Real Housewives of Atlanta obviously where were you guys this season for dance with the stars and why was you all there rooting her on and supporting her we weren't invited so we had no clue what was going on you know i will come to support any one of my sisters i'm gonna tell you first and foremost i like phaedra i think she's a phenomenal woman phaedra just never really think she was ever really bested in this group i think initially she was trying but then when she saw another opportunity it was just like okay y'all you know what i mean i would say she used this as a stepping stone to get to something else and, it, and there's nothing wrong with that so not only did you know phaedra use marital medicine as a stepping stone but i I think that's exactly uh what bravo kind of wanted to happen and it just was perfect timing with uh you know phaedra being on to the married to medicine and she had already been integrated uh you know back into the universal uh nbc universal family with traders and ultimate girls trip and things like that then you had candy quitting the real housewives of atlanta quitting the real housewives of atlanta and then kenya quit the real housewives of atlanta season sweet 16 mid-season and so it just kind of all worked out right Okay, but obviously you can cut the tension with a knife. What the hell is going on between Phaedra and the ladies of Married to Medicine? I guess we won't really know the full scope of the situation until it starts airing this upcoming Sunday. But we know that, you know, uh, Dr. Heavenly and Quad have been onto the internets talking about how they revived Phaedra's reality television career, which I think is just so laughable. And then Phaedra was over there at the Dancing with the Stars talking about some Married to Medicine who? Married to Medicine what? I don't know her. I'm a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta now. Okay. And so I guess we will know more uh, pretty soon. But y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. I do feel that Married to Medicine cast feels a way. Not only are they... Not only do I feel like they feel like they're the black sheep or the underdogs of the network, uh, of the Bravo network, but I also feel like, you know, they feel like this lady is coming on and she's barely doing anything. She's barely saying anything. She's just making faces and she's using us as a stepping stone to get back onto the housewives. On top of the fact that Married to Medicine doesn't really garner the same sort of opportunities as the housewives do as far as being on Traders and being on Dancing with the Stars, et cetera, et cetera. So, Listen, let me know how y'all feel about that situation in the comments down below. Now, speaking of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Portia Lee Williams, okay, y'all know she's back for season Sweet 16, and uh, she's getting very cozy with her baby dad, Mr. Dennis McKinley. Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm about to do my interview. Good, uh, Linda, you want me to take a picture of how it looks or they sent it to you? Why are you here? What are you doing here, Ariana? Uh, uh, uh. oh that's so cute that's so cute first off Portia looks absolutely fabulous uh Dennis McKinley looks handsome as always listen you know a lot of people on to social media first and foremost I'm happy that they are getting along I'm happy that the co-parents are co-parenting I just think that's a beautiful thing um we do know last time we saw these two on tv I believe it was Portia's Family Matters in Mexico. A whole bra broke out when Lauren was slapping people in the face with plates. Allegedly. I mean, is it alleged? We did see that, right? Didn't we see Lauren like doing like an uppercut in Dennis's face, his chin, and then she grabbed a plate? <laughs> anyway, so it was a very terrible situation. So, you know, they went from being family to being strictly co-parents right um and now that Simon Gobadia is out of the picture per you know their divorce um you know it seems as though Portia and Dennis are back to being close and whatnot um yeah a lot of people on social media are shipping them they're saying oh my god Portia's spinning the block and they're gonna get back together and yada 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 in a romantic sense 
And I just kind of feel like, listen, never say never. Anything is possible. And I want the best for these two beautiful black souls. But uh, I just don't think horses should go down that route. Seeming as though Dennis just doesn't like her kind. And when I say her kind, I mean women of a particular age. Portia D. Williams is 43 years old. And from my knowledge, Dennis likes them between the ages of 20 and 29. Okay, he be trying to fuck on all of those women at the crew lounges. It's I feel like it's an open secret at this point in time. I had a girlfriend who worked for Dennis McKinley. Probably, you know, in the middle of her working at the crew lounge, she was probably about 25, 26. Dennis was consistently, from what she told me, hitting on her. Okay. And then, you know, the girls in the hookah lounges, I'm sure there are some outliers. There's probably a 31 year old hookah girl, and there might be a 40 year old bartender at one of the crew lounges and things like that. But I would assume that the majority of the women who work there are in their 20s, early, mid, late 20s. And from what I heard, he expects the hiring managers, whoever is doing the hiring at the crew lounges, he expects them to hire girls that he would fuck. Okay, so much so that he's going around the lounge asking, why is this girl working here? I wouldn't fuck her. Why is that girl standing at the hostess booth? I wouldn't fuck her. Why is that girl behind the bar? I would not fuck her. I mean, that's just what it is. How uh, Portia said, ask the waitresses how they're getting paid and they'll tell you it's full of penis. Allegedly, allegedly, alleg everything in this video is alleged. It's alleged. Listen, Portia, stay clear, stay clear okay of that situation y'all let me know how y'all feel about everything in the comments down below like the video <laughs> like the video subscribe to the channel and don't forget to create a great day bye